Hello everybody! Welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. After goodness knows how many problems, on my last recording session, I was kind of a little bit uh, skeptical about uploading any of them, and I was thinking about just giving up the series to altogether. But hopefully, it doesn't happen too much more, and if it does, I suppose I'll just tough it out, considering one of the episodes is already uploaded. Anyway, so I'm gonna get right into it, I guess. Actually, hold on. Hmm. Okay. I need to level up and beat up Falconer, the uh, the bird Pokemon gym leader, if I remember correctly. I need to beat that guy up because then, after he has been destroyed by me. I get... Be right. I'll be right back. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back. I seem to be having issues with my computer. It's like slowing down really bad. Anyway, as I was saying, once I beat Falconer, the bird trainer, I, um... I can get Togepi, or sorry, the egg that hatches Togepi, spoiler alert if you didn't already know, um, which is one of my favorite Pokemon. So I really want, really want that one. Yeah, yeah, thank you for waiting, restoring Pokemon to full health, got it. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he's feeling better, come on! I'm pretty sure the chat box is set to like super speed, so I don't know why it's taking so long. But whatever. Deposit. Mm, I don't want Ekans in my party. Get out of here, Ekans. So I need to free up two spaces. One for Rattata and one for... Get out of here, Pidgey. I don't know if Hoppip can learn flying, but I really hope he can. It can. But, um... Yeah, I, I need to free up two spaces, one for Rattata, one for, um, one for Togepi. Alright. So let's go ahead and try taking on the Gym Leader. I don't know what level I should be to do this. I keep on pressing the wrong button. So, 10, 6, 6, 9. That's actually probably the worst option I could ha I could use. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like screwing everything up. Go back down there. There we go. That's much better. Okay. Sheepy, what moves do you have? Tackle and Growl. Not even an electric move. That sucks. I was really hoping they had it had an electric mute move. Haha, <laughs> so cute. I'm gonna make it follow me around everywhere. You, sir. Yo, champ in, ma in the making. You must be here to challenge Falcon the gym leader, right? You are quite welcome. Almost. This city has a tower called Sprout Tower where all the trainers come to test their metal, blah blah blah. Challenger Falconer may be too or challenging Falconer may be too difficult if you haven't gone through their tr Ah oh, god, I forgot about Sprout Tower. Sheepy wants to take it on. Let's go. Let's go, Sheepy. I need to remember to like, save every five minutes. Just in case what whatever happened last time ha doesn't happen. Or if it does, I won't be set back too far. I'd love to have one of those. Okay, he wants a map. I already have a map, so I don't need to worry about it. Yeah, so about every five minutes I need to save myself. Sprout Tower entrance! Which actually is actually... Oh, was that a Rattata just hanging out in the rafters? The bell sprout over 100 feet tall. People say that it became the middle pillar here. That pillar looks like it's made out of wood. And it looks like a square. I'm pretty sure neither of those attributes have anything to do... It's creaking, too. See the pillar shaking? People are training upstairs. So training upstairs is what causes the pillar to shake? Seems a bit dangerous and unstable. Sprout Tower was built long ago as a place for Pokemon training. Only those who reach the top will receive a wonderful move. Is that so? I don't actually remember what the move is, but I'm gonna get it. 
You are a trainer, obviously. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. <laughs> That's good. If it didn't stand strong, I'd be worried. <laughs> I like that. He like prayer beads and Awesome. Tackle! Destroy that Bell Sprout. I'm not actually sure what Bell Sprout's attribute is. I hope it's not like Paris's. Paris's one is so annoying. You attack and he like poisons you or stuns you or something. It's pretty annoying. You vine with me all you want. It doesn't hurt. Aha, oh, you're paralyzed, you suck. I forgot about the that fleece coat thing. For experience. Cool. And oh, so close. Well, it should level up this time. This match. Whoa. <laughs> you sound stupid, Bill Sprout. Why do all Bell Sprouts only know Vine Whip? Seems kind of inconvenient. I mean, if they face like another grass Pokemon or a water no, water water's weak against it. Like What's not weak against grass? Normal? Fighting? Um, fire, I guess? If they fight any of those, they're done for. There's no chance. Woohoo! Almost leveled up again. I like this. I like how I'm leveling up so fast. I'll keep Hop Hip. Just stands on standby. Sprout Tower is a good place to level up. Like, I, I thought I'd have to grind up a little bit before I fought the gym leader, but Sprout Tower seems to be doing pretty well. If I can get all my Pokemon to level 10, I should stand a chance, or maybe even win. I don't have a fighting Pokemon, or my only... This one's electric. Flying is weak against electric and fighting, I think. Or maybe it's... Maybe it's fighting that's weak against flying. I can't really remember. I fought hard, but I'm too weak. Yeah, well, you did your best. Don't worry about it. You're only a simple monk. I guess Pokemon training comes second. Why am I going down? Oh. I see. That would be useful for the other guys. Let's go this way. Sheepy. Are you a trainer? Yes, you're a trainer. Fantastic. Let me take a drink. We stand guard here in this tower. Here we express our gratitude to show our respect for all Pokemon. Really? Why you only have bell sprouts and such? Sage Chow sent out bell sprout. Wow, that is shocking. You know what else is shocking? A Pokemon without that's electric and doesn't have any electric moves. I was gonna make a clever thing there, but it didn't work out as well as I was hoping. Whatever, it's not a big deal, I suppose. This bell sprout's about to be, uh, uh, oh, come on, come on, come on, no, 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 ah, I couldn't think of a good pun before I killed it. Deflect, no, that would be horrible. <laughs> I wouldn't want to say that pun. That's not even a pun, really, that's just a really bad joke. Bag potions. Go. Use the potion. Ah, fantastic. Full health, almost. Apparently. Vine Whip? No! Why? That was not an accident. I meant to go here. Tackle! Go! Ah, oh, almost. I was hoping that it would take two hits instead of three, but whatever. As soon as Sh Sheepy gets to level 10, I'm gonna switch it out for Hop Hip, I guess. I think Hop Hip's part water as well. Or no, it's part grass. Never mind. I thought it was part water, part flying, because it uses splash, I think. Which would mean that it would be horrible in this tower. So it would have been smarter to use it early. Let me see. Yeah, grass flying is fine. Although... Splash and synthesis. Yeah, that thing is totally useless. I'm going to shift it out and then shift it back. This thing knows no attacks, no... Uh, what do you call them? Aggressive attacks, I guess. God, you're almost as useless as Magikarp right now. I'm like... Sounds like a dog is fighting 
outside with something. Which worries me because I own a crap ton of cats. But my cats usually can hold their own. And the dog I heard wasn't very big. It sounded like a chihuahua or something. So odds are that dog's gonna get owned by my cats. Yay! I just realized I've been shaking my legs the whole time, which means my cord might have been rubbing against the mic, which would suck. I think I might just uh, start save stating after every fight or something. Because I seem to be having some <laughs> some issues with my game, and randomly it likes to screw up after battles and such. Because, believe it or not, I hadn't saved in about 10 minutes, even though I said every couple minutes I'd be saving. Which ended up screwing up everything, because right after I said, or right after I finished that last battle, it glitched on me. I just had to run back from where I started the video. It didn't take long. I did everything I did in the last one. Except my Pokemon may have a little bit better health. Yeah, probably. Anyway, let me just save real quick. In case you're curious as to how save states work, it's more like if I press Shift F1 here, and then like run over here and glitch out or something, I can press F1 and it'll immediately restore me to the point where I was previously. So. It's pretty cool. It's not it's not something I usually use, but it seems like I'm gonna have to now. Which isn't a big deal, I guess. Hopefully the words that pop up on the screen don't bug you, or I might be able to turn them off. I'm not entirely sure about that. I can check, so I'll be right back. Well, whatever, I couldn't find an option for uh, that. So, I'll just have to deal with, uh, whatever. With this, this popping up whenever I do it. Okay, so it just, like, saved itself twice for some reason. Totally not a big deal. Let's go and fight this trainer here. Hopefully I remembered to lock my frames. Or else this is about to get super intense. Nope, I locked him. That's good. I'm gonna beat you, Sage Edmund. That's a dorky name. I had a friend named Edward once. He was a nerd. I'm a nerd, but, like, in a cool way, I'm a cool nerd, I work out, but... He was, like, the nerd that was sheltered as a child. Ah, <laughs> Bellsprout sucks. Hopefully I can get off this floor by the end of the, uh... end of the thing here. End of the video because I don't have much longer of record time. I gotta make dinner soon. I started recording way later than usual this time, because I recorded some greed core earlier. And, uh... That went well, but it lasted much longer than I expected it to, because I kept losing. And nobody wants to watch me lose on greed core, because the matches take forever. Thundershock, yes! Now I can destroy the gym leader. I will switch Pokemon, yes, to Popipo. And then I will switch from Popipo to... Oops. Ah, to Rocky, apparently. Because he's the only one that isn't level 10 yet. I'm gonna test something real quick. Okay, yeah. I was just making sure that my uh, my fast forward button worked for when I have to grind it later. I don't know why I tested it now. I should have just tested it later, but I felt the urge. I felt the need for speed. I really hope that thing levels up soon, because I don't want to keep on switching it out. Alright. Oh, I didn't realize there was actual Pokemon in this place. I mean, I knew deep down... Hey, look, Rattata, and it's a boy. Fantastic. Like, I knew deep down. But, ah, oh god, I don't want to attack it. Maybe if I growl, it'll attack me and get paralyzed, and I'll be able to catch it. Because I don't want to kill it. 
because I'm pretty sure one tackle would kill this thing. Although one tackle wouldn't kill the, uh, the bell sprout, so maybe not. Uh, okay, so it basically reduced my power, so now if I attack it again, it's going to die. Well, fantastic. Let's try catching it right now. I hope this works, because otherwise I'm going to be pretty upset that I won't be able to catch it. I thought only bell sprouts were in this tower, though. Bell sprouts and, like, ghost Pokemon. That's all I thought was in here. I was wrong, though. Anyway, we caught him, so that's good. Now to name it Joey again, and hopefully it doesn't glitch when I got out of this battle, because I was about to save state as I was walking. Living wherever... Oh, I already read that. Living... Oh, I was going to save state as I was walking, just in case I got into a fight and it glitched out again. So hopefully it doesn't do that when I got out of this fight. And I'm good. So save state. Um, gotta switch out. Um, looks like I should probably switch out Joey, because it's he's the lowest level, even though Popey Po has no moves. So it'd probably be an issue. Anyway, when we come back, we'll go up this ladder. <laughs> so I'll be right back. <laughs> 